Hey, sweet people. I'm Elise Black with Heart of Austin Homes Team at Keller Williams, and today we are going to check out 7810 Pano Drive. With a C, Copano. Copano. Versus what? I don't know, it sounds like Opano. Opano, but it's not. It rhymes with Opano, but it's Copano. Um, we actually live right near here. Um, this is a long ways down our street, and I hope you like it. Um, this is definitely on the lower side for this area and it has been sitting for quite a while so we are waiting for someone to do either fix and flip or maybe get this one for a rental um, it is at 264 900 right now it just went down 3k uh, and it is three bedrooms two bathrooms um, 1800 and some odd square feet and has a weird garage conversion so it's not really very converted is there whatsoever. ever a non weird garage you conversion? know i have seen one tasteful garage conversion ever. Oh, that makes one more than I've seen. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of times it's just it just is so obvious their flooring choices and such. So this is kind of weird that and the garage door, door opener that's still it's installed the in the ceiling. Yeah. Um, so immediately when you walk in, you notice it's tile. It does have a bit of a foyer. Double entryway. It feels like a church. It does kind of feel churchy. Um, a little bit dark. Um, there's a little bit of a ramp up to the main house. Um, if you're a dwarf, you would be able to detect slopes. Sorry, I just played D&D &D the other night, and so I'm like all D&D <laughs> on the brain. John and I totally met because we're both dorks, and so we share that. Here's a random coat closet with like fingerprints in the back. That's kind of eerie. Um, and then two secondary bedrooms immediately when you come in. Right or left, right or left. This was like a similar tile, but not the same tile. There's, I kid you not, three different sections of tile um, right here. Two. Three. Three. And then some poorly done laminate. Oh, right oh we haven't got that room yet, but yeah, there's some laminate. Okay. Um, so at least it has a double closet. It has windows that don't match the rest of the house, but are, you know, nicer than the rest of the they house. They do look newer. Looking up to the front. Yeah. Um, you can only maybe fit a queen in here, probably a single. Um, I always read bedrooms on how big of a bed you can fit in them. Um, secondary bathroom. Is well, they are full bedrooms. Bath. It has that old seashell sink. It does have some cabinetry over the toilet, which is nice Chills. and handy, um, and uh, and such. I mean, the house doesn't appear to be in horrible shape. It just needs some real love. And you're so good at compliments. <laughs> it doesn't appear to be in horrible shape. No yeah. obvious fundamental issues. Again, a different style of windows, but nicer than the original windows for the place. Yeah. Just a single wall closet. Um, like, uh, you could fit, thing, you yeah. could definitely fit a queen in this one, but it would be more comfortable with a single. Definitely. Um, right. Or a kids, yeah, this is a, a pretty... Needs a little bit of patchwork on the walls, just some minor scuffs honestly. and stuff. Let's check out this garage conversion before we do the living room. Hey, by the way, guys, garage thanks for tuning in. So this is not very converted. Nope. It's really... It's, got, it's, got it's basically a garage with French doors. Speaking of Dungeons and Dragons... <laughs> More dungeons than dragons. <laughs> um, you still have your washer dryer, but I've seen these redone to be um, studios a lot along here, um, and putting in good lighting and um, better flooring, and then separating this off to be uh, a washer dryer utility room, and uh, and so that way you can have clients drive up for your um, you know photo studio, your art studio, um, and just come in that door instead of in the front door. So. That is an option. Still odd. Pretty decent sized living room for 1,800 square feet. It's really, I would guess it's more like 1,500 or so square feet, plus the strange garage conversion that's not very convenient. Garages are typically 400 square feet. Yeah. So, yeah, that makes about sense. And two cars. 14, 1,500 square feet. So, um, this could definitely be dining. I'm guessing that's what they're intending. Kitchen is really wide open. Um, that is probably the best feature with stainless steel appliances, which don't really match the level of finish up. Yeah, the rest you of can us. tell they've like selectively upgraded a couple things, right? Like this new backsplash, yeah. new counters, the cabinets are in good shape, <laughs> the appliances are really nice. You know, the floors maybe not so much, but they're real durable. So there are a couple of I gems mean, in here. It's just begging for renters or a fix and flip uh, because stuff along here goes everything from, I mean, this is the very, very low end up to 450. I mean, obviously that's a much bigger plan and that's much better finish outs, but, uh, but it's, it's a huge variety. Let's see. 
Let's check out the backyard before we go look at the master bedroom where the kids have stashed themselves. So this has also been expanded. Uh, this um, new paint tell, out here. Yeah, you can tell that the porch used to extend to the end of the edge of the house there. Yeah. And they decided that they wanted that extra three or so feet of um, a porch. So they built out the wood section. Um, there's a little small um, sagonal I section. I, I'm guessing it's for a... Um, it's the entrance to the rat cellar. <laughs> I'm guessing it is for a barbecue because uh, it's not good or within code or healthy to put your barbecue underneath um, a covered porch mm -hmm. like this um, for breathing sake um, and for fire hazard sake. Oh, look, they have a transformer so. in the back. They and do. I'm not talking about a Decepticon or all uh -huh. that. You Although can, that would be a selling point. You could put point. some bushes in around it. You could put a small fencing yeah. thing around it so that that's not obvious. And the uh, the paint is definitely new. So yeah. This is definitely not fresh clear paint. It's hard and to tell. It's also in the video. covering up some very questionable bits. Is that termite damage, etc.? There's not much separation. There's, I mean, Austin is just replete with um, with foundation issues. Replete. That's a good um, word. That's such a good word, right? All of that expensive education is paying off for me. I'm gonna have to look me. it up and make sure it means what I think it means. <laughs> Um, you can see there's not much separation. That could be definitely within regular settling. Yeah, um, that's just the back porch. It's you'd not wanna, anything to worry about. You'd want to have it inspected and potentially... That means I'm not a foundation inspected. inspector. So don't listen to me. <laughs> this is the... Uh, yeah. the uh, you know, this is a singing realtor out. video, not the amateur inspector hour. <laughs> um, so that is the back porch in the backyard area. It is 0.2 acres, um, though you know that's just as much out front as it is in back. These two are pretending to be statues. Mm, children not included. Children not included. I don't know what's up with the closing your eyes, but that's fun. Um, so you could definitely fit a king size bed yeah. in here. Um, a queen would become more comfortable. Uh, and a dresser. You'd probably want a dresser. It has two small walk-in closets. Um, as you can see here. One small walk-in closet. With yet another type of tile. I think New, this is a fourth oh, type wow, of tile. Oh wow, this is a fourth type of tile. Wow. You're so right. Um, they got like they went to like the this is rack, just the potty room. Yeah, yeah. You know you're a parent when you call it a potty room. Oh yeah. It still has the seashell old school '70s style sinks. Um, it has yet another type of window. Do you remember that movie Demolition Man? No. With the three seashells, and they made fun of him because he didn't know what the three seashells were. No. Maybe. Anyway, go I look at it. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> we'll have to check that out. Um, here's a, the second closet. Um, both pretty small together, add up to a decent sized. Um, though not that impressive the master, um, yeah. master closet. And uh, yeah, that is the house. But for 260, what is it, 264 nine? Um, for this area, that's actually pretty nice. It's in four nine. Uh, I wouldn't want to check, but the schools around here tend to be really good, eights, nines, um, that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, they, you could be getting quite a deal for, and to get into those schools for, uh, for a really reasonable price. Although, if you do buy it, Chelsea may come for you because she really wants to buy it. Um, I think we're going to see in the kitchen. In the kitchen's a good place. I like it, the kitchen. It is the most updated. What do you guys think? I don't know. I think the kitchen. Um, I don't have time for a poll. Take the take You the don't time. have time for the poll? Yeah, let's just, just do it. Um, so it's either this or the dungeon I need to grow If I had to name my three biggest influences, so I don't know if you how much you know about me, um, but I spent 10 years as a full-time touring and reporting artist. And, um, and if I had to name my three biggest influences, probably would be Billie Holiday is number one. Um, Tori Amos is definitely up there. And then maybe a tie between, don't tease me about this too badly, Jewel, Sarah McLaughlin, and um, Eva Cassidy. Um, the jewel one is the one that's the most teasable, but she's oh, still on. really quite good, people. Yeah, come on. Fun. Um, I like pop. So, uh, I like I like her folky side better than her pop side, but I'll, I'll take it. Um, but I would sing anything Billie Holiday all day long and be happy. So here's a bit of a, of a Billie Holiday classic. Billie Holiday never wrote a song in her life, so yes, no, she didn't write this. Okay, I get it. But here you go. I'm gonna love you like nobody's loved you. Come rain or come shine. High as a mountain, deep as a river. Come rain or come shine. 
I guess when you met me, it was just one of those things. But don't ever bet me, cause I'm gonna be true if you let me. You're gonna love me like nobody's loved me. Come rain or come shine. Happy together, I'm happy together. Won't you be fine? When days may be cloudy or sunny. So we thought that was especially appropriate since it has been so rainy in Austin for the last couple of days and seasonably rainy. Um, otherwise, guys, um, we would absolutely, absolutely love to help out anybody you know who's looking to buy or sell or invest. John is a fantastic investor agent. Uh, and then additionally, uh, if you want more information about just being a smart buyer or a smart seller in Austin, we have really amazing PDFs of all the things we've compiled to be looking out for and, um, and steps to take. Uh, whether you're working with us or not. So, signing off, I'm Elise with Card of Boston Homes Team. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Take care and have a great week.